You can have some dinner if you want, but it ain't much count. Oh, I'm sure as good as it always is. When I'm down here working with my rocks, my machine here gets all gummed up. Rocks are continuously falling off our bank, so you have to pick them up and chunk them back up to where they come from. Katie's been carrying on about her poppies, and now she's built a beautiful bed to put them in. You know that little boy lives down the road in that first house? Yeah. He's really gonna amount to something. Every time I'm down there, he's just working and telling me about what he's been selling. If he keeps working like that, he's really gonna amount to something. That's right. I've been working in the garden, but directly I've got to carry Granny to the doctor, so I'm gonna to have to go in and clean up. When Katie and I were little, we would wrestle with each other until one of us would yell calf rope and give up and it was over. She said she's going to go to town and get something to eat, but I said there ain't no call to do that when I've got a kitchen full of food to eat. I'm going to go ahead and go over here and do up the dishes so I can get on to my busy work day. I think I hear a hawk somewhere, but I can barely hear it, so it must be a way off somewhere. You know, I've seen as high as 15 deer in those fields going through Brasstown before. Mm, I can top that. I've seen as high as about 25 or 30 going through Martins Creek. Mm, lots of deer. It's looking good down here. I know, we worked all day Saturday and got it all spruced up. I had to run all over creation this morning, so I had to come back home and see if I could get any work done. Corey said that she only likes her chicken fried, but I said it doesn't differ to me, I'll eat it anyway. <laughs> When the girls were little, they would make a destroyment out of the house. They'd throw toys from the back of the house to the front of the house. They'd pull out my couch cushions and jump on them. They would just tear things up. But thankfully, they were always willing to help me put it all back together at the end of the day. It's falling flood outside. Come out here and help me get the groceries. Oh, I will, but I have to put my boots on because I cannot abide wet feet. I had to go to town this morning, and when I went out to get in my car, it would not crank. My battery was dead as 4 o'clock. It would not even turn over. I told my uncle that I was gonna make him a butterscotch pie. He said that would be wonderful, but for me to make sure that I put a whole lot of calf slobbers on it, cause that was his favorite part. I worked from can't see to can't see from before sun up to sundown. I've been in the kitchen putting up food this morning, but I noticed, I come over here to get some jars and through the window, I noticed I've got a katydid right here. See it? So katydids are what makes that wonderful noise in the summer uh, that surrounds the mountains of Appalachia. I love it. I don't even really notice it after as the summer goes on. And oftentimes I'll, I'll suddenly hear it and then I'll think, I wonder how long they've been, the katydids have been hollering is what we would say. I wonder how long they've been hollering. And I always think every year I'm gonna 
I'm going to find out, I mean, I'm going to listen and I'm going to know the first time I hear them, and I never do. But I might have managed to do it this year, only because one night it was pretty getting pretty late. Matt went to bed, and he left me and Katie in the living room. We were sitting in there talking about this or that, and then we decided we was going to go to bed. But Katie was talking, and I was kind of trying to move towards the hallway. And because it was quiet, the TV was off and all that, I thought, I hear, I hear just a few Katie did. It sounded like they were over on the ridge. And so I said, Katie, do you hear that? And uh, I think that's Katie did. She said, sounds like it. So I went back to the bedroom and Matt wasn't asleep yet. And I said, Matt, I think I heard the first Katie dids of the season. Listen, silence, nothing. <laughs> so I really do think I heard them. I was, I was like, they're, they're priming, they're getting primed. And another night or two, we'll hear them. Well, the next night Matt heard them. He said, listen, I hear them just a little bit. And then by the following night, they were kind of in full chorus. So as I said, that's such a, a comforting sound to me. Um, if you've ever heard it, then you'll agree. Some people say it gets on their nerves. Over the years when I've talked about it, there's people that said that it, the sound of Katie Dids drives them insane. They hate it, they despise them. But for me, it's just such a comforting sound of summer. When I grew up with, at Pap and Granny's, no air conditioning. So in the summer, all the windows were up and so you could really hear them. I, they're so loud, you can hear them through the windows. Of course, today we have uh, air conditioning. But I remember one time I was at a contra dance and I was burning up, it was so hot. So I went outside to see if it was any cooler just to get a, a little a breath of air. And there was a gentleman there, he was visiting from somewhere else, he was not from here. And, and he was kind of, you know, hey, how are you? And it's a great dance, kind of that. And I said, yeah, yeah. And we were just kind of making chit chat. And all of a sudden he said, boy, it's really loud here, isn't it? And I, I listened. Also in Brasstown, we have racetracks. So I, I like listened. I thought, oh, is there a race tonight? Because you kind of become immune to that too, to hearing the noise. And I thought, oh, is there a race tonight? And I was kind of looking around and he's like, the bugs. And I was like, oh, you mean the Katie did? <laughs> so he was just shocked by how loud they were. Whereas I was, I didn't even, I tuned those out and thought he must have been just talking about the race cars. Although there wasn't a race that night, he was actually talking about the Katie dids. When Corey was little and I tried to make her go to bed, either at night or to take a nap, she would often buck up on me. In one of my recent gardening videos, when I was editing the video, I noticed something strange behind me. So I went back and watched it again slower and I seen what it was. It was a little ground squirrel. And just quick as Jack Robinson, it just went straight across the yard. I'm really beholden to Granny for all the years that she raised me, all the things that she did for me, all the meals she cooked for me, all the clothes she made and washed, just all the things she's done for me. I love her so much, and I'm really beholden to Granny. Corey and Katie, my daughters, they are real cautions. What does that mean? That means you never know what they're going to do. They are real characters. Mom sent me out here to do some stuff in the garden, but it's about to rain directly, so I probably won't be out here that long. I've been making apple preserves this morning. It is the bestest recipe. I'll be sure to share it with you. Olive has been nasty in my porch. She's drug all kinds of things from the yard onto the deck. It is so swelterly. I should have said with the family. Let me do it again. Me and Katie used to wrestle when we were little and until one of us would... Why is it so hard for me? Because you don't usually say it. Until one of us would yell calf rope and it was and over. give up, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get to doing up the dish. start over. This is good. Yeah. I think I hear a hawk somewhere, but it must be a, what was I? I think I hear a hawk somewhere, but it must, but I can, okay. You know, I say, I, let's see. 
When the girls were little, they would make a destroyment out of the house. They'd tear toys out and they'd throw them from bed all the way in the back of the house to all the way in the front of the house. They'd tear out the couch cushion. Lord, I, I told my uncle I was gonna make him a pie, a butterscotch pie. He said that would be wonderful, but to make sure that I put a whole lot of calf slobbers on it. I don't like that. I like it. Olive's been banasty in my. What is it again? Yeah, Olive, Olive has banastied my. Porch. Okay, banasty. Okay.